Hey, you coming or not? Huh? Uh, oh, yeah. Jun? And Masahoro-san? Hey, uh... I told him I could get here myself, but nope, he insisted on tagging along. Did you? Well, thanks for seeing him off. Uh, don't mention it. I, uh, wanted to see you too. Oh, really? So, we're finally getting to sit and talk. We sure are. Were you okay? Well, I mean, maybe that's a weird thing to ask someone who had amnesia. <laughs> maybe a little. I'm very happy for you, June. You got to go on an adventure with your hero. Oh, uh, guess so. You've gotten so strong since I last saw you. Remember how you armlocked that one jerk into submission? Yeah. I'm lucky to have learned that from my mom. So, Mikiko, what's your next move? What do you mean? Well, I was wondering about your living situation. I figure it's tough staying in that house after everything. Yeah, you got that right. What am I gonna do? I haven't given it much thought yet, but... But... Yeah, so... Shirakaba-san mentioned he'd take Jun and me on vacation. Just the three of us. Vacation? Uh, where to? He said, anywhere in the world, anywhere at all, for as long as you like. <laughs> I'm sure he was just kidding. Oh. Okay, then. I, I don't think he was joking. That dude's a doctor. He looks pretty loaded. <laughs> Unlike Mr. X Yakuza here. Watch it, kid. Uh, Mikiko-san, why don't we head inside and watch a movie? <sighs> I read your letter. So then, what are you here to do? What am I... well... Mikiko-san, wait right there, please. Okay. I've been saving something for you. Huh? Mikiko-san, will you... Hold it! What is it? Uh, well... Actually, I'm here to take Mikiko home. Take her home? Where? To your dirty little hovel of an apartment? Yeah, if that's okay with her. And my apartment's tidy as hell, as a matter of fact. I clean up every now and then. <laughs> Kaito-san, I understand what you're feeling. But this is the one thing I can't give up on, no matter what you say. I hear you. Let's talk this out. Oh, we won't be doing any talking. Huh? Then what are we doing? Settling this like the men of old. With our fists! What? Oh, come on. You trying to have a duel in this day and age? What about how Mikiko feels? This fight is for my feelings, Kaito-san. I told you from the beginning I was giving this my all, didn't I? Man... Mikiko-san will never share her heart with me. I've already accepted that. However... If I can best you, the one she sees as her hero... Then perhaps... There's a chance she'll acknowledge me. So please... Give me this, Kaito-san! When you
you put it that way. Fine. But don't blame me if you get hurt. You needn't worry about that. Hell, you get so beefy. After those thugs came, I vowed to do whatever it takes to get stronger. To build myself into a new person. One who would never let harm come to Mikiko-san. So these past two years, I've made the gym my second home. And on top of that, I've practiced every form of martial art available to me. What I've learned is this. With the insurmountable will to protect the ones you love, even a frail physician can rise up and become stronger than any threat that comes knocking. All right, then. You made your point. Guess we're throwing down. Let's do this. Shirakaba! Come! Kaito-san!
Seems you've had enough. We squared up now? Yeah. Now it's out of my system. Thank you. <sighs> Why do men have to be so primitive? So then, where do we go from here? Uh... Didn't you say you were taking me back home? Uh, um... Yes, I did. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Where to start? So, uh, when I said my place was clean and all, sorry, that was a big lie. Even on a good day, it's about as clean as a farmhouse, and the bathroom's moldy. Yeah? And I'm flat broke. Seriously? Being a detective doesn't always pay the bills. Pretty often, I'll be months behind rent. Sometimes I can't even afford dinner. Well, you're gonna have to fix that, aren't you? I'll try. Will you still join me? Gladly. <laughs>